So here's the book's explanation of merge sort. And I have a video you can watch just before this one about how merge sort works using some cards. Uh, basically, we need to break the deck of cards into two sub decks, half the size. Then take the two sub decks, sort each of them, which we're going to use recursion. Then when they're each individually sorted, we merge them back together by carefully deciding which is the, we're looking at two smallest cards, one from each sub deck. We have to decide which is the smaller of those two smallest cards. Then we merge that one. Then we look at the, uh, the card underneath that smallest card compared to the original smallest on the other deck, merge those two, etc., etc. So first thing we need to do is build a sub deck. And good news is it's already here for us. So we're in 13.5 sub decks. I'm gonna go into deck. We'll put it, let's see, we'll do it after the constructors, definitely. I'll shift F for formatting. All right, so it's gonna return a deck uh, with a low and a high. And I think this one, the length is high minus low plus one. I do not like that extra plus one there. So I'm gonna take that one out. Uh, that's going to cause some other problems. All right, you're going to notice that it uses this right here, this.cards. So we're going to be building several sub decks, uh, and then eventually we're going to overwrite the main cards array with these decks that we're forming. And it's gonna be weird because you're gonna have deck objects inside of another deck. That's gonna feel very weird. Let's not worry about that too much right now. Uh, but yeah, it will be recursion in, in two different ways. One in the method way, but also you're gonna have deck two decks inside of the main deck. Uh, but let's deal with that later. All right, so it's a new deck, high minus low. Now we got a problem because I modified our constructor, so this constructor is not really going to be a good one to use. Oh man, new deck. I modified it so they did just build a deck. It also threw cards into it. Hmm, I better get out of this jam that I put us in. All right, well, here we go. So this this will build the deck, but I don't, I want to remove all these cards back out of it. There's a couple ways to do it. I could add a Boolean here. So if maybe if it's true, it fills the uh, deck with cards. If it's false, it won't. Boolean fill. If not fill, return. All right. So if we're, if, if fill is false, uh, which means that this will be true, we're going to return. If fill is true, then it's going to go ahead and fill it up with random cards. All right. I apologize because I write a lot of code in C sharp where we're allowed to do that, but I can't do it here. So this new deck, I did want randomness here. So I'm going to add the true right here. So we have our construct, uh-oh, what's happening? Where's our error? New deck, oh, okay, right here. We don't want this filled up, so I'm gonna put false in here. So we'll get a new deck, but it will be a new empty deck. Creates the array inside, but doesn't actually fill it in with anything. Okay. So for loop. Now I also <laughs> don't like starting this at zero. I, I want to start it at low. 
a lot of things I don't like about this. Uh, go to high. Um, I always do minus plus plus I. I was told they run faster that way, the way that it actually runs it. Uh, so we're going from low to high. Oh, no, actually, we can't do that. Oh, no. Uh, we do need to start at index zero. Hmm, we could. What in the world is going on? All right, I think I screwed this up. All right, we could start low, go to high. Uh, however, I really needs to start. This needs to start at zero. So how can we compensate? I could just take away low. So let's say it may start at five. I might start at five. And right here, this will actually be the value zero right there. Uh, I don't need to offset it over here. There we go. And return sub. OK. So that should make a sub deck. Of course, we're going to test this out. Absolutely. Uh, I don't see this. It looks like an error, but all right, maybe there is an error. All right, this is a public method. So let's go ahead. We don't, I'm satisfied with our selection sorts right here. All right, so we got our original. We're going to make a couple sub decks here. Uh, let's see. Deck. One, well, d zero equals deck dot sub deck. Um, let's go zero to deck dot length over two. Okay, and then of course we want d zero dot print d zero dot print. Boom. Okay. Probably should put a, a little extra information in so I could see what these values actually are. That would be smart. Don't need these tabs anymore. The space will be good. So we're going to go sub deck plus. int min zero, int max equals deck length over two. Boom. Min, put the comma in, max plus. All right, sub deck, and then we'll see the results. Get that subject. We better go min to max just to be sure. Min max d zero print. Okay, let's see what we get here. We got comment everything else out. Good. All right. So subject zero zero looks like it works. Subject zero zero looks like it works. Subject zero one works. Subject zero two. So it goes. Remember goes up to the index two, but does not actually use index two. And you might think that this is tedious. However, it's very important. I don't want to just skip this card right here. So that's subdeck zero two, boom's got two items. Subdeck zero three's got three items. Uh, you'll notice that we got problems. Uh, I'm not happy with the way subdeck's working. I'm only happy with that it added the right number of cards. Obviously, it didn't add the right cards. So we'll fix that in a second, but at least it's the right length. It looks like it's just grabbing the zero card here each time. So I played around a lot with these values. Um, at least it's the right length for low, high, plus, plus. I'm star car. Ah, there we go. Well, I'm just calling the uh, low each time. Clearly that's not good. 
So the reason I wanted to keep I in like a natural way between low and high is so I could index the original array of cards in a natural way by just doing this card's I. And then it just offsets it by low. All right, hopefully that'll fix our issue. Boom, subject zero one, good. Subject zero two, should grab the first, five J, subject zero three. Actually grabs the first, yeah, three things. All right. This, by the way, when you start at zero and go up to the amount minus one, if you subtract these two numbers, three minus zero is three. And that's exactly how many elements you have in here. If you're following what the book does, you'll have one extra element in here. So if you subtract these numbers, you're, you'll actually get three, but then there'll be four items in this sub deck, which I do not like. Uh, so zero to five, and that's not how anybody else programs. Uh, but there is no perfect book. This one's pretty good. All right, subdeck 05. Boom, we got it. Zero through five. All right, I'm happy with uh, zero through index over two. Let's modify. We'll start min at two. Uh, max minus one. We'll just try this. I'm worried about some index out of bounds exceptions happening. Bam, negative array size exception. All right. So if my smallest is two, I better make sure my array is not too small. There we go. Okay. So subdeck now, what two, two, two minus two is zero. So we have a subdeck with zero cards in it. Great. Original subdeck two, six. So there should be four cards in it starting at index two, four cards. Boom, all right. Subject two nine, starting at two, going up wherever the heck nine is. Looks like it stops right there. It should be one less than the length, right? So two, one less than the length AC. Okay, so that looks great. Uh, let's just run it all the way to length, just to make sure. And we'll go, I'll crank that up to four, but of course now we're gonna have problems if I have a deck that's too small. Okay, four to seven should have three elements. There's the fourth right there. Four to ten, there's the fourth. So it starts at right there. Zero, one, two, three, there's the fourth. Yep. Uh, starting at four, two, through the two. Okay, so I'm happy with the way subdeck works now. I tested it a few different ways. Uh, now, as to how I tested it, I intentionally wanted to test it with zero at the beginning and then some middle value right here, which is why I did length over two. Uh, and I also wanted to test it with uh, not with zero here, but with the end with the maximum value here. And these are called edge cases. And you want to make sure you test edge cases, both smallest and largest valid cases. Uh, before you're confident that your code actually works. And I tested some middle ones, too. So I think we're okay with most of 13.5. Now I will say one thing I changed, they talk about, let's see. These cards are shared with the original deck. If you look at our sub deck method, we created a new deck, but we never deleted anything out of cards. So we never actually went through this.cards and set them to null. So there's actually two references to the same card. And what that looks like is this right here on the left. I'll blow that up a little bit. So there's two references to the same card. This would be, for example, if you did like zero through maybe, I don't know, five, seven, whatever, I can't count, six, zero through six, this is the situation you would get. Here's the original deck on top right here. So this is what, oh man, that's a miserable marker. I don't think we need it. Uh, that'll be good. Okay, so here's the original deck right here. We don't actually modify this at all, but we do make go through the first few, make 
we don't actually make a copy. It might be like we make a copy, but we don't actually make a copy. And the best way to think about an array, uh, this is not true for primitives. So any of the int, float, double, this would not be the case. But any non-primitive, so cards not primitive, what an actually array is, it's a pointer or a reference to a card object. And here's the actual card objects that live in memory right here. So this would be the first six card objects inside here. So when we build our second deck, we don't actually make new card objects. We do make a new array, which is a new container with references to card objects, but we never made any new card objects. So we still have the same exact number of cards. We didn't duplicate the the card objects themselves, what we actually did is duplicated the references to them. Now this is a little bit misleading. In computer memory, a lot of times they happen to be in adjacent spaces in computer memory, but that may not actually be the case. And especially later if you're going to build some data structures where you're not adding every element at the beginning, they frequently will not be lined up in memory like this perfectly. What we're actually doing is changing around the references when we sort. We're not actually changing what's in computer memory. We're just changing the order of the references here. So later on, what's that can end up happening is we're going to find that these arrows get swapped around based on what's the smallest card, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and so that's what's actually changing is the references, not the cards themselves. And that's definitely tricky to understand at first. Uh, one of the other reasons I'm talking about this is because somewhere in here, cards, objects are immutable, uh, but I don't think my card object's immutable because, oh, okay, I lied, it is. The word final is right here. So technically our cards are immutable once you set the rank and suit in the constructor, you cannot then set it or change it later. However, most things you're gonna build are not going to be constant or immutable. Uh, so you just really want to be aware that if you end up changing your values, they're going to change everywhere because there's only one actual card, even if you have several decks pointing to the same card. Uh, we could make an actual copy if we wanted to, and I think that's probably a good video to do. Uh, so I'll, I'll make a method that actually makes a full copy, not a second reference to the same cards, but an actual second copy. Uh, but for now, there's our subdeck. We're about to do merge next.